Hello my dear friends, this is the second video of IngDiGuide. This video will cover uh, application, documents, eligibility criteria, requirements and the most important points you have to be careful while preparing your documents. In my CERN video, I talked about how to prepare a CV and motivational letter. So I don't want to talk about the same thing again and again. If you want, you can get detailed tips uh, from CERN video because I will share uh, it is link in the uh, description. But I will mention my tips uh, briefly. While preparing your motivation letter, be specific. You can get information, you can get uh, ideas from uh, other people's uh, motivation letter, you can uh, get ideas uh, internet. Of course, it is possible, but uh, don't copy paste it. If you write an argument, support it with uh, stories, with uh, examples. Quality is more important than the quantity, so don't exceed uh, two pages. Between one page and one and a half is ideal. Be concise. Don't write uh, emotional, historical sentences. Uh, only mention uh, the most important points about your uh, background. The program focuses on preparing professionals for industry. While preparing your motivational letter, focus on uh, your experience in the field. Uh, focus on the projects you worked on, uh, the roles you performed, and your future goals. Find connection between uh, the program and your motivation and emphasize them. For example, I have three years software engineer uh, experience and I worked uh, in international and local companies. This is based for my motivation. I want to boost my software engineering career and to be a software architect. This is uh, my intention to join the program. Add uh, two or three sentences to summary. Add your GPA in the education section. Do not separate your skills. Add uh, skills to the project you gained that skills. It will show how many years you spent to gain uh, these skills and in which project. In projects and experience section only add relative things, not your um, sales manager uh, experience for example. Add relative um, scholarships, uh, training, seminars, online courses to your CV. If your hobby is not uh, developing game or contributing pe people on Stack Overflow, uh, then don't add them. My tip for CV. I think this is the most important one. CV should be as concise as possible. I asked lots of HRs, my supervisors, read book about it. One page is the most ideal one. Please do not use Europass format. Once I have uh, read my friend's CV, it was like a storybook of kids. It had lots of pages. I don't remember exactly how many pages it had. Uh, it should be around five pages, maybe more. I don't remember, but it is too much. In the USA, when I joined uh, to Grace Hopper Celebration Conference, I asked uh, HR from a uh, Amazon, she looked at my CV. My CV was two pages and she said, it is too much. There were some uh, white spaces on the first page of my CV. She said, uh, move the information from the second page to uh, the first page. Do not keep any white spaces on the first page. Use all of them. Okay, uh, transcripts, diplomas and syllabuses. Uh, for uh, diploma and uh, transcripts, I sent uh, notarized versions of them. Uh, I couldn't uh, send the syllabuses uh, of bachelor and master studies because I couldn't find them. But I don't think it is a big problem because on my transcripts, uh, credits for all courses were added. If you have, it's okay. You can send uh, only transcripts. Copy of master thesis in English. My master thesis uh, was not in English. It was in my uh, native language. I made a summary in 20 pages in English. My master thesis was about web development. I developed a website for it. So I took a screenshot of every pages of website, collected uh, them in a zip file and sent it to. My bachelor thesis uh, was irrelevant. 
uh, it was related to mathematics for finance so I skipped it language certificates I assume that you know about the requirements about the language uh, if you don't have IELTS or uh, TOEFL certificate right now and uh, you think you can't get it in time you can still uh, apply to the program and get acceptance but uh, until the program begins you have to get it and to send it uh, to the person uh, who uh, concern it. Additionally, you have to finalize your master's studies until the program begins. Try to find people from your university to recommend you. It could be your supervisor, your teacher, uh, professor. People uh, related to your master and bachelor thesis uh, are the most uh, preferred ones but for my case only one of them uh, was from my university it was my uh, master thesis supervisor the second one was my supervisor at CERN you know CERN uh, is the one of uh, partners of the NGD program I knew recommendation from CERN uh, would be perfect and it worked the last one was my supervisor in uh, Institute of Information Technology in Azerbaijan last but not least the important deadlines. Uh, deadline for uh, EU citizens is uh, September 30 uh, and non-EU citizens is um, August 15. But the program manager doesn't wait for the deadline to start to select uh, people. She has already started to interview uh, trainee candidates. Chance decreases towards the deadline uh, being early increases. So don't wait for the deadline start today. Okay, this is the second video. Ask your questions in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let's meet in the next video. Bye-bye.